Okay, so it's rockflesh.com coming live from Damnation once again, and I've got Rodrigo from Irist with me now. Thanks for spending some time with us. Thank you so much. Um, pretty much fresh off stage. Yes. How, how do you think it went? How do you think it went? I thought it was pretty damn good. Uh, giving, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> giving everything that happened, we were very happy with the end result. Right, right. What, did you have difficulties or? No, no difficulties. Like, I mean, other than being tired. <laughs> yes, yes. Like we were just saying, like, yeah, yeah. it's going, going to the yeah. end of our, our lengthy, a lengthy tour, is it? Yes. So, and yeah. in London yesterday was mental, so. We were, we had to wake up like at 4 a.m. in the morning, be here, oh. play at noon. So after a month and a half, yeah, 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 it's a yeah. little bit. And it's your and first tour, first it's tour, Europe. Well, yeah, first tour. Uh, we are so happy that we're able to do that with two bands that we absolutely love. Yeah, Paul Bear and Elder. So yeah, fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah we Super were just enjoyed. just speaking with Paul Bear guys. In fact, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, fantastic lineup. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Very, very, very good. Yeah. Um, yeah. So obviously very tiring, um, but. You couldn't tell on stage at all. Um, I gotta say, I, I've listened to you guys lots uh, recorded, but I've never seen you live before, obviously. And um, you you managed to uh, convey the same intensity uh, and the same nuances live as as on the record. Which, I mean, that's which really is really good to hear because <laughs> so that's goodness. exactly yeah. what we what we, uh, we what we try to do. Yes, we had we had to play. Uh, uh, stage that big before, right? And we yeah. were like uh, a little bit worried that you know, in small stages we we're, 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 we feel we, comfortable. We feel comfortable. But yeah, yeah. But then in a big stage like this magnitude, mm. and also the psychological part, like we're playing with bands that we're like huge fans. Exactly. Of, and yeah. then we're thrown in that, and then we're like, okay, how is this gonna go? And then, but but the feedback we got after the show was. Uh, a lot of people like, oh, I, 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 I've learned about you guys because of the festival. Yeah. I saw the lineup, and I was blown away. And, and you know, I was there at the merch event. And I was like so happily surprised. And that's one of the, the joys of playing a festival, isn't it? They reach, yeah. you know, reaching new reaching people, new, uh, yeah, new yeah, crowd. So but yeah, you, very happy, and, yeah. and and the same exact uh, feedback that you yes. just, just described. Yeah, yeah. No, you, I think you guys totally owned the stage. You, you, you didn't look like you were nervous at all or or kind of out of place at all like, like really, really i think we were it. just fucking tired <laughs> <laughs> just just doing it muscle just memory now muscle memory. almost yeah 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 so uh for those who don't know iris um like i'd say if you're a fan of gajira then there's a lot there in in the guitars um the vocals are are very very intense brutal your vocals uh, in, a, in a good way um, i think there's loads of elements there in fact i know obviously um there's lots of different influences on man so a couple of like north american guys and then yourself brazilian argentina chile the other guys yeah, we... Lo lots of different influences yes, there there must yes, be yes. yeah and i think you kind of naturally shows on the music yeah. uh, i don't know we don't make a point or an effort mm -hmm. to do that but it just kind of pops it's like naturally, naturally uh, yeah. in the music uh, I, I always feel very like pleased when i hear our name put into this in the same sentence of those big bands yeah like, I, I, <laughs> yeah it's too much almost uh, very honored but like yeah i think uh, this 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 attempt to try to always like make sense of our music it's a, actually it became a funny thing to us yeah. we have gotten so many <laughs> weird fucking labels at this point really oh god tell us some because i'm re i'm renowned in my reviews yeah. for coming up with hyphenated labels yeah. to try and explain, to explain? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah have fun at it <laughs> yeah. we're gonna email you a list <laughs> but basically yeah well, just on the top of my head there was some publication i forgot like this called this pen metal pen like all of metal, yeah, and it was a dude. That's a dude in yeah. that was like, You guys are like stoner core, <laughs> that was like, what the stoner fuck? core. It's like, like yeah. stoner not core. even I've come up with that one, <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah. Wow. So, all we do is like, we just let you flow, and that's all okay, you is. just used yeah. all you, yeah. You know? it's just, uh, and, and it's that's a good sign for a band, Pablo, Pablo writes 
the bulk of the music. Right. Uh, the way we write is like Pablo writes uh, most of the guitar and the drums. Okay. And then sends it over to me. I write vocal lines. Then Pablo and I and Adam sit at his studio and then we start picking and choosing things. We stay a good bit of time on each song, like over a month. Some, sometimes it's uh, yeah, yeah. the same song and then it comes out the way it does. Uh, but, yeah, yeah. So our classic question is always writing, recording, playing live. What's the order of enjoyment for those? Uh, I, I, I personally enjoy all of it. Yeah, yeah. All of it, every single bit of it. For me, like, even the part that is just like thinking about music in a, in a more objective way, like distancing yourself, I enjoy that too. Yep. Yeah. 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 But, but then again, I, I'm sitting on a chair calling out commands, like uh, Pablo is actually writing. Yeah, yeah. And then Adam, I want it to sound like this. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Adam is like in the computer, like figuring out plugins and shit. And I'm like, nah. I don't like so it. So I, if I asked them the same question, it would be like, well, it's fine apart yeah, from yeah, but they, still, they still love it. They still love it. It's, a, <laughs> it's just a little more work for them than for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. But, you know, lead singer is supposed to be like that, right? Exactly. Yeah, I mean, I used to sing in band, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, you've got to be like that. It's, you know, yeah. it's part, it goes with the territory, yeah. doesn't it? Drummers are supposed to have like a stable job yeah. and, you know, <laughs> be good in mathematics. <laughs> Basis are supposed to be quiet people. I don't know. Yeah. Do all got all the stereotypes of all being the in a band. Of being a band. Um, let's talk about the name because it's um, kind of it's basically a made-up word, isn't it? But yes. Composite yes. of three yes. different words. So yeah. speaking of which, like I, I'm, I'm uh, when I'm not doing music, I. I went to school for linguistics and stuff, so I'm oh, fascinated right. by yeah. words and things like that. Oh, brilliant. So, yeah, the word, the, the idea of iris is like you get the root of the word, which is iris, mm -hmm. you know, of the eye or whatever. Or maybe you can think about it as ire, like anger. Yeah. Uh, and then the suffix st is like a person that does something, right? Yeah. So, uh, it's somehow vague, but intentionally vague. Yeah, yeah. And some people weirdly say that when it's written down, it kind of like similar to Christ. And I'm like, that was not I don't want to go there. Now, is it? <laughs> I don't want to go there, but uh, sure. I mean, if you think it's like very black metal sounding, yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So take, take what you will, go and take it. <laughs> Yeah, we've done it now. How people want to take it there? Yeah, exactly. No problem. Exactly. So with regards to things like um, the, the logo of Iris and the, the the artwork and stuff, is that something that the band are heavily involved in? Yes. Yeah. Yes. We're yeah. involved in everything. Yeah. Uh, the artwork, we work with this guy called uh, Alex Ackerman Long. We found him by chance, completely on Instagram, yep. and he was just like, we just fell in love with it. And, Order of the Mind and Gloria both have his art, and his art is like magnificent. Like it's 3D in real life too. So yes. what you see 2D in the album, like the layers and stuff, is like all 3D wow. in real life. So it's it's fucking mind blowing. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. we're like, okay, this, and I feel like it represents the music too because it's intense. It was, yeah, yeah. And it's also vibey in a way. Mm -hmm. Which kind of like seems contradictory terms, but they're really not. It's kind of like our stone. Mean, it's like a like, yeah. stone core. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Stone core. Which I think you've got to start owning that. You know, that's got to be exactly. your, your title, maybe now. Yeah. Just with some more hyphenated words, maybe. Sludge, stoner, blah 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 <laughs> blah 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 blah. blah. Um, let's talk about your vocals, actually, for a bit. Um, influences on your vocal style. I mean, I, I, I'm an old man. I'm right. I'm 40 years it's got, old. It's got to be separate. Or two or actually, I think not as much. Actually, uh, I mean, I, I am a Sepultura fan, of course, yeah. but uh, vocally, not as much. I think uh, you know, Billy Garzielli from Biohazard is yeah. a big one, yeah, yeah, it's a big one. I've always loved his vocals. Uh, I think, uh, 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 what would be another one? Uh, Fear Factory guy, what's his name again? Uh, yes. Yep. Yes. I think I loved his stuff too. So we're like, we're like '90s people. Uh, you know the old Roadrunner stuff. Like we're all suckers for that, stuff. especially Pablo and I. So yeah. So we, we kind of. It was funny because when Monty 
you know, called us and we're like, oh shit, like, oh. this is exactly like he he bred us. Yeah, <laughs> you know what like, I mean? Like, like to realize, yeah, <laughs> we're a product of his own shit, and then he's like, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. It's a yeah. complete. Song. Is it still kind of like a, a bit of like a pinch yourself moment sometimes oh, when you when you realize? I mean, I was like, there on stage. Just now. I was there, like sound checking, and uh, Andrew from My Dying Bride was there. Yeah. It's my favorite band. Like, <laughs> right. And I saw him there. I was like. What the fuck? I'm about to go on stage and this guy's here and I had to just stop everything and talk to him. <laughs> and then, of course, I'm going to be a fanboy and go there. And yeah, it's got to be done. It's got to be done. Yeah. It's the joy of like playing festivals as well, isn't yeah. it? As a band. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. But yeah, as a vocalist, I would say those two guys are like bigger influences than than any other. Yep. Than any other. Actually, it's say. definitely that kind of like hardcore. Yeah, it has and hardcore meta. Yes, it. exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, so it's that really, makes sense. Really good vocal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank yeah. You. I thought the sound and the balance and everything was really, really good uh, this afternoon. I almost said tonight, like you did, but it's like, thanks for being with us tonight. It's like, oh, it's because you're in the pitch tonight, black, isn't it? So, pitch, I said tonight, and then after that I said evening, you mean, and then after that I was like, <laughs> is it day? And I was like, oh, whatever. No, 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 it's I'm pitch black in here anyway. It was like, yeah, I lost yeah. track of time. Yeah, and um, then, <laughs> I mean, the other day, like, in London, uh, it's still the end of the tour, right? So yeah. We're so tired, like, uh, I was like, this is the last song for tonight. And it wasn't. <laughs> like, like Pablo, like, like, it's not, it's not, we've yeah, got yeah. more. You know? <laughs> it's exactly what happened. Pablo was like, we got one more, what are you doing? I was like, oh, the drummer told me just that he's gonna, he wants to play another one. <laughs> It's like, this is especially just for you just guys. Just for you guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shit. It's always the thing, you know, you're, you're the best crowd. Like, <laughs> we all know, we've all done it in bands. Truly though, <laughs> there are some special places that we, we, we played. I mean, of course, we, we enjoyed it all because it's all part of like our very first tour. Yeah. So everything is fucking special. As cliche as it sounds. Yeah, no, uh, it's it is. understandable. It yeah. is the case. Uh, but there are some places that are truly special for us. You know, in England, like, it's always special because that's where we record the Order of the Mind. Yeah. So we, we spent a month in something in Southampton. Right, so yeah. That was, that was really fucking cool experience. Living in a stable, in a horse stable. <laughs> As you do. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, These recording. things have to be done for recording. Rick, we, yeah. we, uh, we walked like 40 miles for the first pub every day. Oh, 40 blimey. miles, not 40 minutes. Yeah. See? Yeah, 40 miles, blimey. Mentally yeah. ill. Yeah. yeah, but sometimes but, when you want that pint, <laughs> you'll walk that 40 miles. There to go. <laughs> and then uh, um, Belgium is also really special. Oh, cool. Ghent, yeah. Belgium is oh, Ghent's it's a really special. Yeah. Yeah. We play our first European show in Ghent, right. so it's also really cool. Of course, we had some places that were like fucking amazing. The response, Have like you played the festival in, in Ghent. There's a, uh, uh, there's a festival. Fest. We, yeah. did, we yeah. did play Antwerp and Ghent. Yeah, yeah. That was also both of them sick. Uh, Porto was also crazy. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Most of my background is Portuguese, so it's like really cool yeah, yeah. going there. Uh, and Amplifast, right? Uh, and uh, Barcelona was fucking sick. Hamburg. Holy shit, it was like, we weren't expecting, like it was this mall venue and all that, it was fucking Packed crazy. Out. But Packed anyways, out. yeah, we had a lot of those unexpected yep. moments Yeah, made us really happy. That's brilliant, that's brilliant. And obviously, yeah, it makes it more enjoyable for, we always say like, crowd feeding up the band, the yeah, band feeding yeah, yeah, the crowd, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, perfect yeah. for that. So, if um, Iris were to have Iris Festival, mm -hmm. where you could pick any bands to play alongside you, mm -hmm. any, any genres, any stages, mm -hmm. anything, who would be on the line? Do you Holy think? shit! Past, it, it can be anything, past, present, future. <laughs> Man, that's a really fucking difficult question. <laughs> a lot of the ones that are here, actually. Yeah. In Damnation. Yeah, fashion. well, yeah. From, my name Brian would be there for sure. Yeah, of course. And I like sharing stage with them. Convergent would be there for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Would be sharing stage. Full of hell would be there for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sharing stage with them. So we're like, I mean, it would probably have a lot more like Latin music in it too. Yeah, yeah Because exactly. uh, the guys, I mean, I, I do too love it. Um, a lot of Brazilian music and the guys always have new music from other countries in Latin America that they bring in. Uh, so there'll probably be a lot of like Combo uh, Chimbita and like other mm. alternative uh, Zeta is a Venezuelan band that's really cool. Right. Uh, 
Um, so yeah, I probably have a mix of uh, genres. Different influences. Yeah, Bruno, for example, listens to a lot of pop music actually. Yeah. Uh, really, really enjoys it. Um, so we are very diverse. We're a diverse group of people. Yeah, right? yeah. And that obviously feeds into the uniqueness of the sound, yeah. you know, of, of the band. Yeah, you know? yeah, Otherwise, so. if you ever go very small, yeah. narrow, blinkered kind of influences, yeah. then you're just copying those copying almost, those. aren't you? So yeah, bringing it all in is yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. You'd be, you'd be awesome to have a band like Sepultura too. Pablo is actually the biggest Sepultura fan. Oh, right. But, yeah. uh, but I'm also a big fan and we each actually have a friend in common and, and stuff like in Brazil. Cool. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's where I live right now. But um, yeah, I think uh, I think we could make a really good festival. I would need I more time though, to think about the <laughs> proper lineup. To curate it. Properly. To curate yeah, it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I mean, yeah, Gav's lineup for Damnation is the starting point, I think. So, you know, so it's good. It's, it's pretty, pretty good. fucking sick. Yeah, we, we spoke to him like uh, at Bloodstock about how he put the, the lineup together and stuff. And uh, you, can, you just tell the excitement every year with him, you know, about, about bringing bands that he he's really Truly. invested and loves, you know, and, and sharing them really with everyone. That's uh, awesome. I think that's why you get that great feel at this festival so, yes yeah, yeah it's, Perfect. it's been overwhelming actually so yeah. what can we expect from you in the uh, next kind of year shall we say touring writing I mean, obviously you've you've got uh, the recent EP haven't you yes uh, come yes. out so I'm not sure if uh, you're writing more recording more so I hate to say that but the state of like the industry right now for touring yeah it's really bad really difficult. it's really fucking difficult yeah I this is like a really make or break point for us to be completely right. honest because it's so difficult to tour right now like there is no there's just not enough I think money in the industry sure it's just depleted after the pandemic especially and it's it's just difficult like you go to places and there's so many cuts to take like we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna be in difficult situation after this so it i, I hate to say that like yeah to, to bring this kind of stuff on, on i mean they're big, they're big sales. bands yeah they're big yeah. bands that are canceling tours like yeah way yeah, bigger exactly. acts than we are like canceling tours and it's just a i think so i think for people to support the bands they really like it's never been more important yeah. right now yeah. um we would love to to do this more often yeah i cannot tell you like that we will we, I just don't know. We're probably gonna need some time to recoup. Yeah. But we will have new music next year for sure. Okay. Cool. That's for yep. sure. We're yep. gonna have that. Um, and hopefully a U.S. tour because we haven't done a U.S. tour yet. Hey, <laughs> yeah, have we you haven't tour. Oh, I didn't realize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is our very first tour. So yeah, It's yeah. a European tour. Uh, we're probably gonna tour the U.S. We want to tour the U.S. Yeah. And yep. we want to come back here next year. We want to. That's what we it's can just hope for. Yeah. Whether whether it can yeah. work out. But but there will yeah. be new music. Cool. For sure. Excellent. Yeah. Well, that, that's good. Stuff. Well, thank you very much for talking with us. <laughs> thank you so much Obrigado. for having me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah. yeah, yeah. Go check out uh, Iris and um, yeah, buy some merch online. Go do it. Support support these bands. We've been Rockflesh.com. Thanks very much. Thank you.